Undermatching, um, as we've experienced it or as we've seen it, is where a student is, uh, decides or is encouraged to go to a higher ed institution that is actually uh, a mismatch between their skill set, their background, their interests. It causes students uh, to drop out. They're not in an environment that necessarily supports them, especially if they're coming from a situation where their family members or their parents uh, never graduated from college either. For me, it was, it was shocking to know how many colleges there were since I didn't really know about college or universities since I am going to be the first one to actually even graduate high school for my family. So it was pretty difficult. At first, I just thought I could just pop on the computer, just apply. But now I see you have to like write a personal statement, send transcripts, everything. Like It's more than what I thought it would be. I always thought that it was going to be very easy where I could turn in something mediocre and I would get accepted. And I realize now that if I want to accomplish very very, very good things. I have to actually try and I can't be mediocre. I can't settle for less than my best. I try to just instill in them uh, the idea that yes, there's a lot of hurdles, there's a lot of obstacles regardless of, you know, if you're first generation, regardless of financial situations, um, of immigration status, but I can promise you that we will put this work in together through all of these different resources and at the end of the day it'll be worth it. So in the past, we would spend months throughout the junior year helping students assemble these college lists by looking at individual websites, understanding their selectivity and academic profile and the school's selectivity and academic profile, and really just doing a ton of legwork and research. To think about the fact that with Student Union, we're going to be able to take months of work and potentially be able to enter a few data points that illuminate those opportunities immediately is so powerful. They enter in just a few really important data points about them, like their test scores, demographic information. Our system pops out some matching results, and from those matching results, they see schools that are in the just right category, a stretch school, a moonshot school, we call it, as well as schools that we notify them to look carefully at to have discussions with an adult of some sort. And then after that, the students can also filter for specific data points around the school, how large the school is, whether it offers specific programs, and where the school is located, which is important to a lot of our students. The student Union is putting this information literally at our students' fingertips and giving them all of the information that they need to make the best decision possible for their future. My name is Stephanie Vega and I want to study neuroscience. My name is Mark Orr and I want to major in computer science and criminal justice. My name is Katia Alonzo and I want to go into pre-law.